Okay, just submitted this guy to a design contest, and it won. Pretty cool. Uh, let's check out what other LBB content's on YouTube right now. I heard Whitastic uploaded. Oh, come on! This is Storm Hydra. It's a right-spinning stamina-type bay and a remaster of the third Beyblade that I showed off on this channel. And it's also the entry to another design contest. Come on, we got this first place again. Three for three, let's go. So yeah, let's just get into this thing. Naturally, with the chips, I don't really have a whole lot to say about it. Um, of course, there's the color scheme with the half and half kind of thing, but we'll get to that when we get to Storm itself. Um, but this is a pretty good ship since all of the um, parts on it are filled in. It's pretty much the maximum weight, so it's a pretty good ship to use. Of course, we have the star of the show, the Storm Blade. Now, this blade, shape-wise, nothing new. We've all seen stuff like this before. That's not the interesting part of this, of course. The interesting part is the color scheme. So if we put the chip on here, we have this sort of half blue, half orange colorway going on. And I think it looks really good. Um, I don't see too many half and half color scheme bays. And when I do, um, they're not bad. But um, I also don't see blue and orange on a lot of, you know, bays, like as the two primary colors. And it's a pretty underrated color scheme. I think it looks really, really nice. And um, this thing's performance, also not that bad. It's lighter than um, Blaze by a decent amount, but it's a little bit rounder because of these contact points right here. So you could argue that they're interchangeable. Here we have the chassis 1S. Wah, wah, wah. This thing is not that great. Um, at least in comparison to the old one though, there's a little bit more use, and if you don't remember what the old one is, then I feel very sorry for you because now you have to look at this for the first time. It's a very thin chassis. This is the first version of 1A. Disgusting. This version is much thicker and also a little rounder, so you could argue that this thing is good for opposite spin matchups. So there is a bit of a use there. It also uses a different kind of circle plate in the middle with this kind of curved design it looks like macaroni it has a stronger connection to the layer so there's a little bit more burst resistance there which hey i'll take it and finally here we have the survive tip everyone has used this piece before it's just a diamond piece and we all know we can all <laughs> agree that it's not the greatest um tip to use but in some cases it's fine and, uh, yeah, not a whole lot to really say. I mean, it's a pretty simple tip for a pretty simple bay. So let's just move on to the weight. Of course, the chip, we'll begin with that. It's four grams, pretty good. We have the layer base, which is 12. That's, you know, pretty average, I'd say. The chassis, I'm kind of scared to weigh this. I don't know how good it's going to be, but... 10 grams, that's not particularly great, but hey, it's round, so you never know. And then, of course, the tip. We don't really care for that. So, yeah, the full combo for Storm Hydra weighs, if I can put it together. It's pretty light overall. It is 28. Wait, did it go up? <laughs> Last time I weighed this thing, it was 27, but it's 28 now. Yay! Uh, at least around 28. Let's just say that... Um, like, that's still pretty light, so I'm very happy this contest is based off design and not performance, but you know what? Let's battle, then judge. That looks good. Alright, let's battle. I don't think I need to say what we're gonna start off with, because you already know. It's very, very centered, very docile. Not a whole lot of grip, though, but let's see how it does anyway. So we're only gonna do one of these guys, uh, Sparking Bay. And then we're just going to move on to the other two current turn bays. So we're going to start with Helios. Just to see how it does against a left spin. And then we can move on to the big boys to see it get absolutely demolished. Both very similar bays when you think about it. Like, they're very docile. They're not good. I think Helios might win because it has better lad. Oh, okay. All right, so because of this smooth surface, it has a bit of lad too. Okay, good to know.
Yeah, I expect this battle to basically go the same way. Helios is really bad. I might make like a new version of it because it just cannot win. It's just kind of a funny wet fart of a Beyblade. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, but look at that. Hydra's winning. Whoa. Never mind. Never mind. It's just like, get a, get a close up of this. Just, just look at that spin. Look at that spin. Fantastic. Give me bonus points for how good it looks when it spins. There's some more too. Good job. I also like how it just kind of sticks to the stadium. It's very similar to, uh, what's it called? Needle from Beyblade X. Very similar to that, because, like, the tip is pretty much the same. Come on, Hydra. Come on. There we go. Okay, now let's kill it. Come and trend with me in these newer videos where I say defeating Beyblades is called killing them. All right. We'll start off with, uh, si actually that's a bad idea. We should start with Taurus so it has the type advantage. Wow, okay. I don't know what happened there, but I'll take it. In a burst and it broke off some of the contact points too? What is this thing? A good Beyblade? That's wild. Now it's time for my boy, let's go! Yeah, there we go, that's what I was looking for. Burst, kind of. Okay, so I think side. Alright, there we go, we got another burst. Okay, so I think Cyber is, like, just broken. I actually did a lot better than I thought. It lost against Exo, of course, but it had the type disadvantage. And it did destroy Taurus? Somehow, so I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy this video, comment, like, subscribe, stuff like that. Let's hope we win this design contest because it's it's fantastic. So like, come on. I'll see you in the next video.